Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. We're coming at you with the second half of that case that we popped open last night. 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football 6 box. Pick your team number 4 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. So remember last night we marked these all number 4 so you know they're from the same case. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into tonight's action. There it is on the 16th. Half case pick your team 4. Good luck to all. We got double last ball mojo for Jason Bell, Jets and Bucks. Thanks, Jason. All right, and remember, one autograph per box and a lot of parallels. First half, what did, what did we pull in the first half? I've, it was only yesterday. Short term memory loss. I don't think, I think we got some nice stuff. I remember a couple train whistles. I don't think we got that guy. Maybe, we, I don't know. Maybe like a, I don't remember a Minshew Odd, maybe a Minshew Silver? I know there was like a Kyler Silver and a Daniel Jones Silver, maybe a Minshew Silver. I don't remember if there was ink though. Maybe there, I don't know, I don't remember. So long ago, Jason, it was less than 24 hours ago. I wish there was a Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson, dual autograph to five. That would be wild. All right. Nice. There you go, Aaron. Thank you. Hopefully we can give away some money tonight. We had we had break credit we were giving away yesterday, and no one wanted no one wanted it. But tonight, hopefully, people will make it happen. All right, good luck, everybody. Yeah, Christian McCaffrey. There's the Mark Jackson Power Formulas. Clayton Thorson, rated rookie. Kenyon Drake. So these are considered parallel, so these will ship, ladies and gentlemen. But that Sterling Shepard common will not ship. All the RCs and the rated rookies will, of course, ship. Khalil Mack will, of course, ship as to 199. There's a Minshew Silver. Nice. A hollow for Jason and the Jags. Uh, Fletcher Cox. To 299 for the Eagles. That Khalil Mack went to Mark Matson and the Bears. One autograph a box. Where are you? Mitchell Trubisky to 150 for the Bears. There's going to be points for a second. Ed Oliver for the Bills. He had a nice season to 199. There's my guy, Josh Jacobs. My boy, Josh Jacobs out of 299. Maybe Offensive Rookie of the Year. It's got a chance. Travis Fulham to 50. Is there just no autograph? Did I miss it? No. Son of a gun. All right. Well, on average, that's how they get you. No, yeah. All right, maybe there'll be two. Maybe there'll be an above average box. And the next, we'll get two autographs and another one. 
All right. Good luck, everyone. Sean's asking, Joe, how would I feel if the Chargers selected Isaiah Simmons at six? Who is Isaiah Simmons? Yeah, hopefully there'll be like one monster hit to make up for it or like a, yeah, an auto in a points box or something like that. I think that's maybe the first time we've opened lots of these, dozens and dozens of these boxes. The first time I've seen a non-auto in here. Uh, potentially the best athlete in the draft at linebacker. Hmm. Gabriel says, we all know that the Raiders draft the fastest guy in the draft. This isn't like 1998, Gabriel. I mean, like when Al Davis was still making picks. New Dawn of a new era with Mike Mayock. Look at all his draft picks last year. Josh Jacobs, Cleland Farrell, Hunter Renfro, signed Darren Waller. And we need like maybe five more drafts like that, <laughs> then the Raiders will be a Super Bowl team. All right. Well, Gruden and Mayock, of course. More Gruden, probably. Gruden has a little more job security there. And Miko Harbin, Jr., rated rookie, hollow. There's Deontay Johnson to 150. Well, I think I th I think that'd be a good good move by the by the Chargers though, Sean. If they get that guy, I feel like because they're gonna get this guy right, shore up that defense. They already have a good defense. Keep adding to that defense. There's Christian Wilkins to ninety nine. Fans of that, that Rob Riggle will go to the Chiefs. Fan of the Chiefs. There's Trayvon Mullen Jr. to 199. Dakota Allen. And there's your autograph. 79 out of 99. Brian Burns. Rookie auto for the Panthers. Cat Team Mojo for Mark Matheson. Wait, so what, what's the latest with, with Philip Rivers, Sean? What's the story there? There's Gardner Minshew to two ninety nine. I think Brady probably just stays in New England anyway. One out of ten, Baker Mayfield. Could be a big bounce back can, uh, candidate right there, Baker Mayfield. All right. Hey, Tonin, what's going on? Long-term fans want him back. Short-term want us to take two. Uh. I feel like can't can't is Easton Stick not? I give it maybe not. I think Chargers have to take a quarterback. I don't know. If, I don't know if they necessarily need to take Tua, but I think maybe they got to take a QB. I mean, I don't mind the idea of get. Yeah, they can do both, right? Get Philip Rivers back for a couple of years. They can take Tua and have him just marinate for a couple of years. He's he's gonna be injured for most of this season anyway. Right, exactly, Gabriel. Yeah, keep Rivers, 
sit Tua, let him recover for the year, let him learn the NFL, you know, get you get learn the playbook. All he's doing is studying playbook, learning the ins and outs of being a professional football player. Let him marinate, and then let him marinate again the next year under Philip Philip Rivers, maybe last season, you know, and he takes over. And there's a new quarterback in L.A. Could, could be good for, uh, you know, obviously the Chargers in L.A. kind of struggle with a little market share here, but fan market share. But that could go a long way if there's a big, big quarterback name to gain some new fans. All right, next one. No, no, uh, speaking of East, or Phillip Rivers, there he is. No Kylers yet. At a 199, Andy Dalton. We got shorted an autograph in the first box. We got a Brian Burns in the second box, and now we're here in the third box of six. Here in Pick Your Team Four. You'd rather go Simmons and trade back and get O line and groom Easton Stick. Is Easton Stick moving the needle though? Brand new stadium. You know. Keenan Allen to be in the Chargers to 150. I mean, is is the uh, drafting drafting down and getting an O line and grooming Easton Sig? Does that move the needle for for new Chargers fans? They already have you, Sean. You know, they're looking. They got to they got to put extra more different more butts in seats. Drew Sample, 37 out of 60. You think good defense will put butts in seats? Jason Bell with the Bengals gets the Drew Sample. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta be like a. I mean, you gotta be a defense that just, that has just, setting records and takeaways for defenses to put, put butts in seats. Like, you know, is it Nick Bosa putting butts in seats or is it really George Kittle and Jimmy Garoppolo? Who's Tyreek Hill to 99. Marquise Brown to 199. D will lead to wins. I mean, they, they won 11 games like two years ago, didn't they, Sean? They, 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 were still, they still couldn't sell out. You know, StubHub slash Home Depot slash Dignity Health Center. Twelve games, right? I mean, we, I mean, there, it's it, it is difficult conversation because it's two. There's two different things we're talking about. Good for the franchise long term. Yeah, I mean, you got you got to you know, you can go linebacker, you can go, you can go. Uh, You know, if you go go safe, shore up that line. You know, find value in a quarterback in later rounds or a decent stick. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, yeah, even if the prices go back to normal with big stadiums or someone going, yeah, I'm gonna let's take my family of four, pay fifty bucks a ticket, sixty bucks a ticket, and then let's go see Derwin James and the Chargers. And I'm talking like post Philip Rivers, you know, if he doesn't re-sign or if he retires, and he's gonna re even if he re-signs, he'll be retired in a couple years. Is it is it Derwin James? That's gonna be, be the, that's what takes the family of four. Let's go grab, let's, let's go spend a zillion dollars on food at a big big new stadium. Let's go see Derwin James. Quarterbacks are faces of the generation. They gotta get a potentially generational QB, like another generational QB. Phil Rivers already is one.
Well, yeah, the Gabriel, that's true. Yeah, I know. LA spent spent an, an entire generation with with no NFL. Like that's how like that's how Jason Jaspi ends up an Eagles fan, you know what I mean? It's kind of crazy to think about Ryan Finley. There's no football for that long. You lost and like even the Rams are struggling to to get uh to get fans at the Coliseum too. There's Dakota Allen, one out of five. Green, that goes, speaking of the Rams, that goes to Will Comstock and the Rams. There you go. Will. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Yeah, well, Nick, yeah, Nick's an Eagles fan just because he moved around. I was just talking about Jason. It's Joe Mixon. But, yeah, I mean, there, there's so many, like, all the bars around here, it's, all, it's just like, hey, come here and watch, you know, Cowboys fans. Here's the Cowboys bar. Here's the, here's the Eagles bar. Here's the Steelers bar out here. You know, so so the entire city was just kind of kind of split up, embraced all these other teams here in LA, and then I'm trying to move Rams, Chargers in here. It's it's, it's going to be a difficult climb for both teams. To 150, Von Miller, Christian Wilkins to 199, and your redemp. Redemp is going to be Hunter Renfro for the Las Vegas Raiders. He's still Oakland Raiders in this set. EA with the Raiders. Should the Chargers, Chargers, Gabriel's thinking Chargers should have gone to Vegas. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yes, maybe. I don't know. I, I would I think that of the teams that of the teams that were gonna move I think it probably should have been the Raiders. I think they just have a a bigger national brand and I think that they would be better for a brand new city. Can't move like the you can't move like the Jaguars there. You can't move I don't know if the Chargers or Jets. Chargers might wear. They're still in Southern California. So. Not too, not too many teams moving anyway. And then, of course, the owners. You know, owner, owners get to vote on all this stuff, too. And what's going on? No. No, no Giants as of yet. Uh, two boxes to go, two more autos to go. <laughs> you guys hear about Odell Beckham Jr.? He, there's a warrant out for his arrest. Nick was, Nick, Nick was telling me about this yesterday. He's like, you see Odell Beckham Jr. in the LSU locker room, like, like handing out cash to players, possibly supplying alcohol, and then, and then apparently smacked the backside of a security officer, a police officer or security, I don't know. Either way, an authority figure, yeah, slapped a cop's butt, basically. Um, and yeah, no, I didn't see the video. Apparently, the cop, he was not amused by Odell Beckham Jr.'s antics. And I think Odell Beckham Jr. was like, follow that up with like dancing in front of his face or something like that. And now it's quickly escalated to uh, to arrest warrant. All right, not exactly the brightest of moves from Odell Beckham Jr. There's Todd Gurley to two ninety nine. 
We were just talking about it yesterday. Then now there's an award, warrant for his arrest. Well, that was Odell Beckham Jr. Somebody on the butt, the cop. What about money? What that about wasn't the money? What about supplying alcohol to kids? I think it's because he hit hit a cop. Yeah, no, he def- that's that's definitely what the charge is. <laughs> it's Alexander Madison Silver. They listed as assault. I know, as like a sexual assault. I think. Oh, really? I think so. I guess. What are they? Out of. I mean. You just, I haven't seen it. You just can't smack women on the butt like that, Odell. Can't smack me. Just don't smack people on the butt. Uh, was it a woman cop? It would, no, it was a male cop. It would have been worse if it was a woman cop. Yeah, it would be he would, then, then, just, But just don't do it. Just don't do it. Either way. <laughs> just don't do it, dude. There's a video of him smacking the cop on the butt? I didn't see that. Apparently there is, yeah. I guess we should say police. Yeah, well... I thought, yeah, maybe it was maybe Odell Beckham Jr. thought it was more of an attaboy, but but I'm hearing from I haven't seen the video, but apparently the officer did not think it was more of an attaboy. There he is again. I mean, I don't know. There's Julian Love, two ninety nine. No, Sean's saying definitely wasn't an attaboy. <laughs> Maybe it was more of a get the hell out of here. <laughs> Doesn't LSU have... Oh, no, actually... Wait, was it at the LSU stadium? No, it was at Mercedes-Benz. Oh, it was at Mercedes-Benz. I was going to say, doesn't the campus locker room, isn't that, like, amazing at LSU? Didn't they just, like, redo it? Death Valley. Ty Johnson to 150. There been a while. Game. I would love to. I would love to yeah, I would love to spend the fall going to uh, all the SEC stadiums in like a month and maybe take an RV. All right, thanks, Nick. And we got Benny Snell Jr. Snell, yeah. That goes to the Steelers, Michael Gallucci. Steel Curtain and his Steelers. Yeah, they were at the Super Dome, right? Yeah. Doesn't LSU have a really nice locker room though for like the full? <laughs> All right, we got Jared Stidham, rated rookie. Maybe maybe he takes over if Tom Brady's not around. We got Russell Wilson to 150. We got Will Greer. Another redemption. Calvin Ridley, Paris Campbell, blew to 150. Oh, nice! So we're crashing at Chance's house. You live 15 minutes away from the stadium. Good. You'll, you'll be on the. You'll be on our list of places to crash on our SEC RV trip. There's Nick Bosa. Maybe we can take. Uh, we do have a fancy laptop we can use. Maybe. Maybe get some sort of uh, hot spot. Maybe we can break from the road. Help us pay for gas. <laughs> Let's break this case of flawless. Jalen Ramsey to 2.99. Christian McCaffrey to 99. You got Orange Jared Goff, Goffster to 1.99. That's fair. That's fair, Chance. That's fair. If I pull, if I get you a hit, we can save for free that night. All right. It's gonna be Nikhil Harry, rated rookie autographs gold. Nice. I think that should be pretty low numbered, maybe out of ten. That goes to Mark Matheson and the Patriots, the Pat Riots, Pats Patriots. There you go, New England. And there you have it, folks. Six box. Half case pick your team number four of 2019 Panini Donruss Optic Football in the books. That was the second half of the case. This is Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and we'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.